everyone. This is Josh here from Community Chrysler. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of go over uh, briefly. I say briefly, but it, it'll probably be a little in-depth. of uh, uh, Jeep's uh, select train. Um, we're going to use this 2014 Trailhawk as an example because it does have all of the features available that you can get for the select train. So I figured it'd be the best, best way to do it. So um, we're going to get started. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, Select Train. Select Train is basically uh, a very advanced, intelligent four-wheel drive system um, that's in use in the Jeep vehicles. Uh, the Cherokee uses it, and the Grand Cherokee both use it. Um, it's an it's a new style electronic uh, four-wheel drive system. Uh, it's shown here. I'm going to be running two different cameras here in a minute. Uh, it's shown here by this control panel here. We are using a Trailhawk Cherokee simply because it has all of the features available. Uh, it's best to cover them all at the same time. So, um, so basically, what you do is you have you have five different modes, plus you have four quadrants on your selector: uh, four-wheel drive, low, rear locking differentials, hill descent control, and then a crawl control. Uh, crawl control works hand in hand in rock mode. Uh, and we'll kind of go over that here in a minute. Um, basically what those four buttons are, those are your select speed controls. Um, they, um, they basically, the computer will control how fast or slow the vehicle can move. When you're in rock mode and you have your select speed control turned on, uh, you're only limited between one and five miles per hour. Um, this vehicle is a very capable off-roader. It has skid plates that cover the rear, front and rear differentials, your oil pan, your fuel tank. Uh, so all your rear vital system control systems are protected. Um, when you're in rock mode, you have a 56 to one crawl ratio. So this really helps you uh, when you're when you're moving about in the rocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started on the modes. All right, so right now we're in auto. Basically what auto does, auto uh, auto does all the work for you for select train. Uh, it automatically adjusts vehicle dynamics to best suit the road ahead. Um, to maintain optimal efficiency, uh, it automatically disconnects the rear drive line, effectively making the vehicle a front wheel drive what what uh, the next version here is snow and you'll see in your screen it'll change over snow adjust for ultimate performance over ice ice covered roads uh, it maximizes vehicle stability and minimizes oversteer uh, major systems that are engaged automatically are analog brakes and traction control uh, our next one is sport so sport uh, basically tunes the vehicle to handle more aggressive driving styles. Uh, this is most suitable for winding country roads or um, if you do tracks. So the next one we're going to do is sand and mud. So sand and mud, uh, they maximize low speed traction by allowing additional wheel slip uh, via specifically tuned chassis controls, differentials and transmission ratios um, that are geared successfully to tackle sand and mud. You can also see that your um, stability control light turns off in this mode. All right, so for rock, we'll transfer down to rock. So what we have to do is we have to hit four wheel drive low and we have to shift the transmission to neutral. So now we're gonna move down to rock. All right. So basically, here's Rock. Rock is specific to Trailhawk. Uh, this mode delivers trail-rated four-wheel drive low capability thanks to the rear differential locking element. This permits uh, serious off-road maneuvering, allowing you to crawl over rugged terrain at appropriately safe speeds. Um, you can actually manually engage lock by hitting the rear lock button. So effectively, and in the 
instrument panel, you should be, um, it'll tell you uh, your speeds that you can go. Um, so we are actually locked right now. If we actually hit select terrain, or select speed, you can see there, one to two miles per hour is our maximum that it'll allow us to go. Um, so, you know, that would never be used in the city or anything like that. To unlock your four-wheel drive low, we'll just pop the button again. We're going to unlock our rear differential. We're going to hit out a four-wheel low, and then we're going to automatically go back to automatic. All right, I hope you found that kind of informative. Um, I like learning about new vehicle systems. Uh, so it's always very interesting to me to be able to share that with other people. Um, so basically, in a nutshell, that is uh, the Jeep Select Terrain uh, that's available in Grand Cherokee and Cherokee models. Um, it will also be included with the new Renegade that's coming out. It's already been unveiled. It's the 2015 Renegade. Um, there will be a Trailhawk version of that vehicle as well. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully we'll be uh, getting one in in a fair amount of time once they are arriving to dealers and uh, we'll do some in-depth reviews on that as well I'm looking forward to it uh, in the meantime the Cherokee Trailhawk is kind of our baby here we don't get them very often so and when they do come in they leave so I I've, I've been very fortunate to have the amount of time I have with this vehicle um, and so I happy to share that with you guys as well. Uh, thanks for watching.